Hi everybody, my name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And today we have an hour together of yoga. So, making sure that you're in a comfortable place. Whether you're starting sitting on a chair, sitting up on something, I'm up on a block, or um, in your own way. It doesn't have to look a particular way. Your legs can be out in front of you, underneath you, crossed. It really doesn't matter. As long as you're comfortable as we get into the breath. So snuggling down, settling down, and settling in to this moment. Allowing your body weight to really be supported by those connections downwards, whatever it is for you, whether it's a chair, a mat, anything else. Allowing your body weight to really rest. You might even want to push down into the earth a little with all those places that you are touching the support underneath you just to wake up your awareness so we've got this gentle pushing down and from there comes a rebound up through the spine through the crown of the head as we reach upwards collarbones wide as we soften the shoulders down once you have this, then allow yourself to adjust for your body, what feels best for you. And that's going to be different for each of us. Giving yourself full permission through the whole session today to adjust, sit things out, do it differently in your way to serve your body. We'll take a full breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out as you start to let tension dissolve in your body. Take another few breaths like that, eyes soft or closed if you like. And then start to maybe breathe in and out through the nose if that's comfortable. If it's not, just breathing in your own way. And we start to settle into this moment, having adjusted our body and then taken some fuller breaths to let go. We settle into this moment, noticing how we're feeling, what's on our mind, any emotions that are very present for us. Noticing if there's tightness or tension in your body. If there's anything you can offer yourself to ease that tension, go ahead and do that. And then starting to focus on the breath as it comes in and out. I'm going to give you a mantra today, which you can take on or ignore or have your own mantra. A mantra is simply a sound and it gets our mind to focus. So a mantra is a, a tool for the mind and that's literally the translation of it. So the mantra is so hum. On the inhale, so, S-O. On the exhale, hum, H-U-M saying this silently internally to yourself and you're welcome to say it out loud if you prefer but so on the inhale hum on the exhale said to be the sound of the breath itself so try and blend that sound with the blend with the sound of your breath coming in and out and then it might be easier just at the beginning to soften your gaze, lower your gaze, or close your eyes so you can really tune in to the length and rhythm of your breath and also to the sound and to your mantra. And as we spoke about in the beginning, if there's anything that you would prefer instead of Soham, then go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Soham. Noticing if that works for you, if it starts to feel comfortable. So.
so high. And that's the breath that I'm going to be guiding you back to throughout the whole practice. So high. So we keep the breath, we root to rise, so hum. And from there, with the very crown of your head, as if you had a laser pointer coming out through the top of it, you're going to start to circle the head. One circle to one cycle of breath. So, so hum, bringing us back. Doesn't have to be a very big movement when we work with the neck. We work slowly, gently, noticing where you feel it, how you're experiencing it. If you need to stop, if you need to change things up, adjust it in any way. As your body gets used to the movement, maybe it eases itself into it. So hum. And then at the end of the next exhale, or when you're ready, we'll pause and take it round in the opposite direction. Again, always paying attention to the breath, working within the breath, the slow, steady rhythm of that so hum. Always tuning into how this feels for you. Listening to yourself over listening to me. We'll do another two breaths to go. Resting if you prefer. And at the end of the exhale, we're coming all the way back to center. So hum. Rest a little further if you need to. Otherwise, circling through the shoulders. So hum. And again, allowing one movement to one inhale and exhale. Noticing where you feel this, adjusting things. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Noticing sensations, thoughts, intuitions, anything that arises, watch it all, dismiss nothing. Another couple of breaths. At the end of that exhale, we'll pause and come back to center, settling in. Taking the right hand back behind your hip. If you're sitting in the chair, just sliding it along the side of your chair or maybe even um, hovering in the air or um, wherever it feels comfortable for you. That's the exhale. We're gonna inhale that arm up and across to the inside of the left thigh. Inhaling up and back. So the inhale is the raising the arm, exhaling across. So we've got so hum, so hum in your own rhythm. Noticing how that feels. That arm doesn't have to come very high at all, or it can, your choice. And then the option is to start to bring a gentle twist into it. So we start to allow the heart to follow the movement, and the gaze maybe to follow the movement too. As the body starts to get used to the movement, maybe it starts to feel a little easier. Maybe the opposite starts to happen and you notice that you need to take it easier or rest. Maybe even glancing over that right shoulder and the left shoulder, depending on what feels good for your range of motion. Two more. And then after your last exhale, when you're ready, we'll come back to center. 
any softness or circles or releasing you need in that right shoulder, go ahead. And coming to the other side, so the left fingertips slide back more in line with your hip or behind it. On the inhale, we're drifting the arm up, exhaling, crossing to the inner left, uh, inner right thigh, inhaling and exhaling. And it's all going to depend on how long our arms are and where the natural reach is and our range of motion in the shoulders. And then when you're ready, maybe easing into those movements, bringing the heart with you so we start to get that gentle twist through the spine. The gaze can come with you over those shoulders or simply to the sides. So hum with the breath, always, always connected to the rhythm of breath, working within it. We've got two more full movements. Or resting if you prefer. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, we come back to center. Any movements you need to release tension through the shoulders or anywhere else in your body, go ahead. And we're coming over onto hands and knees, taking any softness, extra padding you need underneath you. Setting up your foundation in your own way. So knees and hands at a comfortable, um, broad foundation. Belly button draws in towards the spine and we're pushing the hands to lift up through the back of the heart. Of course, you're welcome to come down to forearms if that feels better for you. Toes tucked or untucked, your choice. Coming back to the so hum of the breath and we're moving within the breath. So on the next exhale, I'm going to back of the ribs towards the sky, that's the hum, and then the inhale, the belly comes down, we lift the gaze, so hum. Notice how your body is feeling today, giving it any extra time, any rests that it needs. Your body is a wealth of information, so you're listening to me about five or 10% of the time, you're listening to yourself that other 90% of the time, tuning into what it is that your body is trying to tell you. You can always adjust these movements, come back into child's pose or puppy dog pose to rest or anything else that feels good for you. We've got another two to go. Inhaling and exhaling at your own pace. So hum. Staying to the last exhale and coming back to center. And from there, I'm going to draw the knees in towards each other. Extra padding under the knees if you would like to, as we're going to come into like a trunk stabilizational. Um, um, movement which is going to mean that we are putting a lot of pressure on those knees so if you need to do that now go ahead otherwise we're going to extend that right leg back behind us toes to the sky belly still drawn in back with the hearts lifted and just to wake up the back of that leg we're just going to rock forward and back inhaling and exhaling so hum That sound of breath blending with the Soham Mantra. And when you're ready, coming back to center, still with the Soham. On the inhale, lifting up through the right heel, exhaling, tapping down. Option to stay here, pulsing. Option to lift the heel up and stay. 
option to extend those left fingertips out, just kind of like we did with the toes, great place to stay, or extend that left arm out, ear height, and so huh, we've got this strength through the entire trunk here, extending through the toes all the way to the fingertips, so hum. On the next exhale, we're taking the left hand down, spinning the right toes away from us, keeping that um, left Stay here if you like to. Adding on, left hand comes down, right toes come down, and we're taking that left leg out behind us in a kickstand. Right fingertips coming up onto tense. Option to stay there. Option to extend up the right fingertips towards the sky. Those right toes are on the floor. Option to hover. Stabilization through the entire trunk. Last option here is to swoop that right arm down and over the right ear. So we're extending. So hum on the breath. Next exhale, right toes come down. Right hand comes down, left toes come in, and we're back to extension. So hum. I'm gonna do that one more time. Staying here, or exhale, left hand down, right toes down, left heel in a kickstand and then we're extending up with the right fingertips towards the ceiling. So hum on the breath, option to hover that right leg, option to take the right arm over the ear, we've got that length, two breaths here, so hum. On the exhale, right hand comes down and the right toes come down, drawing in the left foot and once more we're in full extension through bird dog. Couple of breaths, so hum. Left hand down, right knee in and we're circling here. Hips coming back towards your hip, uh, your heels, and then forward. You can hula hoop through the ribs. If you're going in one direction, we'll take it around in the opposite direction. Getting some movement after all of that. And then coming into the same thing, other side. Knees are in towards each other for that stability. Left leg goes out toes to the floor and we're coming forward and back, so hum. Padding that right knee. Option to come down to forearms, of course, and option to stay. Or we're coming to stillness. Staying here or lifting up through the left heel, that's the inhale, exhale, taking it down. Option to lift it and keep it there lifted. Right fingertips can reach forward, tented, or extend out through the right, up by the right ear. So hum. Got that length through the entire body. Option to stay here or adding on. Right hand comes down, left toes, and that right foot comes out into a kickstand, left fingertips up and tented or extended up towards the ceiling, 
We've got this length through the collarbones. Left foot can hover and lengthen. Optional last movement, that left arm reaches down, swoops towards and over the left ear. We've got that extension here. So hum on the breath. One last breath here. Left foot comes down, left hand. Right foot comes in and we're back to bird dog. Extension, so hum on the breath. Notice where your attention's going. Focus on the breath. Couple of breaths here. Option to stay, option to rest, or one more full cycle. Right hand comes down, left toes come down. Right foot out on a kickstand. Extend the left arm up towards the ceiling, left foot hovers. These are all options. And the left arm can come over the left ear. So hum. When you're ready, coming back to bird dog. So hum. Right hand comes down, left knee draws in, and big barrel rolls through the ribs there. Releasing any tension, especially in that lower back, lower belly, back in the opposite direction when you're ready. And from there, big toes come towards each other, sitting the hips back towards the heels, Supported child's pose, hands, forearms, fists, a block, or bringing the forehead all the way down. Keeping that breath steady and even, and come back to the sound of the breath, the length of the breath, so hum. Use the mantra to focus the mind. Stop it going in all different directions. And tuning into your experience. So noticing if there's anything you need to change up, adjust, listen to your intuition. So hum. Done. Now you're welcome to stay there for another few breaths. Or well, I'm going to guide those of you into prep for down dog and then coming into downward facing dog. It's coming back up onto hands and knees. You can always take this for from forearms as well. The hands or elbows are going to come just one hand's distance in front of the shoulders. The wider you take your feet on your mat and your knees, the easier this is going to become. So you get to choose coming into downward dog. Spreading the fingers really wide, belly draws in, and we're using the hands to draw the back of the heart up towards the sky. Toes are tucked here. So hum on the breath. Notice if you've got any racing thoughts coming through your mind. And if you do, Notice what they are. Notice if you need to adjust anything. Adding on. If you're coming with me, hands and toes are rooting down. On the inhale, we're just hovering the knees. That's the inhale. Exhaling, taking the knees down. Inhaling, hovering. Exhale, taking the knees down. We've already done quite a lot of strengthening through the torso. option to continue with that. For those of you who would like to come into downward facing dog, hands and toes um, spread wide and connected downwards. On the inhale, push into 
the hands and toes lifting up through the heels, knees bent. Exhaling, tapping down with the knees. Inhaling, hips lift. Exhaling down. Continue that as the hips lift. Start to push away with your hands so your heart's coming a little bit further back towards your thighs. Inhaling and exhaling. That is a great place to stay. Just pulsing. Adding on. If it feels okay for you, you're going to lift those hips up and stay. Push one heel down towards the floor, bend the other knee. So you're walking the dog and then the opposite heel down. So you're shifting your weight, one leg to the other, coming down to rest on hands and knees whenever you need to. Continue walking your dog and again, play with how wide you have your legs there, your feet on the floor. Option, inhaling, hips up, exhaling the heels, or inhaling hips and heels up, exhaling, rooting them down towards the earth. Push through the hands to draw the heart a little closer towards your upper thighs. Your gaze can come towards your feet, your thighs in towards your belly, whatever feels good to you. And we're here for three so hum breaths or resting. So hum. Last one here. And on that hum, we're going to bring the knees down, coming back into child's pose. Big toes come towards each other. And to release the shoulders, as long as you have support on your forehead, bringing the hands back by the heels, softening through the shoulders in your own way. And you can rock and roll a little bit from side to side here. Notice where you're feeling this. And you can always take child's pose on your back, which is the same, but without the pressure on your knees, just throwing your knees in, giving yourself a little hug there. Same softening in of the belly, curving of the back body. You get to choose. So hum on the breath, coming back to that breath. Staying for as long as you like, gathering yourself. We're going to come up to standing in your own time. So if you're in child's pose, maybe back up to hands and knees, maybe walking those hands back towards your feet and then coming up to standing and I will meet you there. Coming up and into mountain pose, taking your feet a comfortable distance away from you, just like we did when we were seated, connecting downwards. Allow that connection downwards to ripple up through your body as you're connecting the crown of the head up just a little taller. Soft through the shoulders, wide through the collarbones and the fingertips reaching down. Tune back into your breath, maybe breathing in and out through your nose. Finding the sound of your breath and blending that, layering over. So hum the mantra if you so choose to. From the elbows, bending, inhaling, the fingertips up, exhaling down. So hum. Staying there or starting to move from the shoulders, so hum, palms up on the inhale, down on the exhale, if that suits you. Allow the sound of the breath to blend with the mantra, Bo 
both soothing that nervous system. And on the next exhale, we'll take the hands down to the hips, coming to the front of your mat, and fixing your gaze in front of you somewhere easily or in an eye height that you can softly gaze. So hum. On an inhale, lifting the right heel, and then on an exhale, stepping it back to warrior one. So it's off towards the right side of your mat at around a 45 degree angle as the heels turn out. This of course is going to differ for each of us. Left toes and knees facing forward. You can even bend and stretch into that. And as you do that, feel free to adjust your foundation. Next time you bend that left knee, drawing the right shoulder forward to square up. And a lot of the times this gives us um, the feeling that we just need to adjust our foundation somewhat. Rooting down through both feet. Inhale, still pulsing with that knee now, with our torso facing forward. Extending on the inhale, dipping on the exhale. And again, anything at all that feels better for you to you adjust your body, go ahead. We're not trying to fit your body into a shape. We're trying to change up the shape to allow your body to feel comfortable here. Again, spreading your weight distribution through both feet. Even as you come forward, the tendency is to dump a lot of the weight into the front foot, but connect it down back into that right foot. Adding on with the arms. On the inhale, lifting up through the fingertips, palms towards each other, and on the exhale, Hands can come down shoulder height like you're holding a box in front of you, as big or as small as feels comfortable in your shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. Dancing warrior one. Adding on. On the next exhale when we come down, staying here, bent knee, inhaling, sweeping that right arm wide. Exhaling back towards each other, inhaling, lengthening through the front leg, reaching with the arms. Exhaling, down and forward, inhaling wide, exhaling together, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling wide, exhaling together, and continue. Dancing warrior one. So hum with the breath. We've got two more full movements. And if you'd like to rest, then rest. Take your time. Next time we come up, hands slide to the hips. Back heel lifts and coming forward. Hula hooping through the hips or any other movement to ease any tension. And then we're going to come to the other side. I'm going to turn around this side. Mountain pose, hands to the hips. So hum on the breath. On the inhale, the left heel lifts. And on the exhale, we send the left foot back. And again, this foundation on this side may feel very different depending on what's going on in your body and how it feels comfortable for you. Straightening and bending into that front knee, right toes and knee facing forward. Left toes more or less out towards a 45 degree angle-ish, over towards the right side of your mat. Next time we take those, uh, we bend into the knee, stay, equal distribution through the feet, so we're really connecting down to that back foot, and then the right shoulder comes back, left shoulder comes forward to square things up. 
adjusting the foundation as you do that to suit your body. Inhaling, front leg straightens, exhaling down. Great place to be right here. Hands on the hips, focusing the gaze somewhere at eye height in front of you. So hum on the breath. Adding into the arms, palms towards each other, hands raised on the inhale. Exhale, shoulder height comes to the sky. Big or smaller box in front of you or imaginary um, beach ball. Inhaling and exhaling. Everything can be adjusted to you. So don't feel like you have to conform to something that doesn't feel good in your body. Continuing, lifting and lowering, bending and straightening that front knee if you want to add on. Next time we come down, keep that right knee bent. Inhale, sweeping the arm wide. Exhaling, drawing back into center. Inhaling and lifting. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, widening. Exhale together and continue. So hum. Notice where your weight distribution is. Notice where your focus is. So hum. Two more full movements or resting. your gaze and then bringing that left foot forward. Any move to ease any tension, go ahead. You get to choose. From Mountain Pose, taking the feet a little wider as we come into Triangle Pose. I'm going to mirror you, so turning the right toes out towards the right Left toes can fa stay facing forward or turning the heel out a little can help as then we get this internal rotation. You get to decide what feels best in your body. I often find that this is helpful coming into triangle. Drawing the left shoulder back so our torso is facing forward. Hands to the hips. This is the inhale, rooting to rise, distribution evenly through both feet. Exhaling, pushing both hips out towards the left. Inhaling up to center, exhaling, we've got that hip jutting out to the left. Excellent place to stay. Option to take the arms out wide, soften them down away from the ears, reaching, this is the inhale, exhaling, reaching forward with those right fingertips. Left fingertips are bringing us up. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to stay. Pulsing. Always adjusting your foundation, figuring out what works for you. Next, exhale, reaching forward. Option to take that right hand down to the right thigh. Left hand can stay on the left waist here. Or just like in the trunk stabilization exercise, we can reach up with those left fingertips, gazing up towards the ceiling, towards that thumb if you like. Option to stay here, option to start to um, feel into lowering down with the torso. Now a little bend in that right knee can help if you feel like you need support here. You can take the fingertips towards the shin, just not on the knee joint here or taking the back of the palm towards the inner right thigh, knee, shin, as we open up. And we're here breathing, taking that as far down or up as feels good to you. Imagine there's an imaginary wall behind you, you could lean on the back of your skull, drawing in shoulder blades. 
so hum on the breath. Staying for one last breath. And then wherever you are, there's left fingertips and they draw you up. Hands come down, right toes come in, left toes turn out. And again, you get to decide if you like that little angle as the right heel comes back or not. Even distribution through both feet and rooting to rise. Hands to the hips as that right shoulder draws back wide through the collarbones. This is the inhale on the exhale. We're tacking back with both hips. Inhaling, exhaling, jutting out with the right hip. The left hip obviously follows. Option to send the arms out, reaching away from you. This is the inhale. Exhale, we're reaching with those left fingertips to come up. The right fingertips draw us up. Great place to be. Adding on, coming forward and staying. That left hand can support you on that left um, femur bone and you can of course bring a bend in that knee if that feels better. Right hand to right hip opening up through the collarbones or that right arm can extend upwards. Great place to be drawing the chin in widening through the collarbones. That left hand can come down towards the inner thigh, inner shin, even down towards the ankle. If you don't want the support on your hand, you can take the back of that left palm towards the inner leg. And then we're opening up through the collarbones, imaginary wall behind us, so hum on the breath. So hum. Coming down as far as you like or staying up, adjusting the height to suit you. You've got another two breaths, so hum. And then those right fingertips when you're ready, I'm gonna draw you all the way up. From here, drawing the left toes in, right toes out a little bit. And we're gonna hula hoop through those hips, nice and slow, and back in the opposite direction. Releasing any tension, and then heel toeing, or jumping those legs together to come into mountain pose. Just again, let that energy settle. So hum on the breath. Soften the gaze, close the eyes, tune inwards. And then when you're ready, in your own time, I'll meet you down on the floor. Back down on the earth and coming all the way to our back. Taking any think you need along the journey. Settling yourself in. And then tuning back into the breath, the rhythm of your breath, the sound of your breath. And then layer on the mantra, so hum on top. Keeping that Soham mantra in your awareness, drawing your knees in, giving yourself a little hug from side to side. And then we'll take the feet down to the floor in your time and shift the hips towards the right side. If there's a favorite twist you have, go ahead. Otherwise, keeping the shoulders down, lifting the knees up and in, and then over to the left side. Any support you need under those knees, please go ahead. Right shoulder connected and rooted downwards or supported with a blanket, a towel, folded towel, anything that feels good here. Play with your twist, determining what 
twist is best for you of what you need for support here. If that right shoulder is rooted, then taking a gaze over the right shoulder. So hum with the breath. Use it to focus your awareness. And then notice what it is that is arising. Is it information where you need to change or shift something? Expand your awareness to everything that's going on in this moment. So hum. Another few breaths here. Gaze comes to center when you're ready. Knees come to center, feet come down, and then the hips come back into a central place. Connect back to the so hum of the breath. And then the hips come up and over to the left side. Again, if you chose a different twist, go ahead and take that or take your support over to the right side as the knees come up and over to the right. Left shoulder grounded and rooted or supported. Adjust the shape that you're in to suit your body and what you're feeling. Support yourself in any which way feels best for you. There's no right and wrong way to do this. It's all about learning how to adjust and adapt things. Trust the information you're given from your body. And come out early if you need to. And the breath is always there, so hum. If at any point in your session that you lose the breath, you always come back to the breath it's your number one guide for noticing if you're doing okay exactly where you are, if you need to shift and change things or come out. Another couple of breaths here, and of course you can stay as long as you like. Gaze comes to center when you're ready. Knees come to center, shifting the hips back to center. And we will draw those knees in one more time. Give them a little hug there. And drifting the feet and hands up towards the ceiling somewhat. And if there's another way you want to finish off your practice, go ahead. Otherwise, we're going to let all of that fluid drain from our hands and feet, you can even circle through the hands and feet in one direction, lazily, slowly, so hum, and then back in the opposite direction. Coming to stillness or staying in movement. And then when you're ready, hands come down. Knees bend, feet come down. Constructive rest, the heels draw apart, knees in towards each other. Or coming into your relaxation, whatever that means to you. Taking props, extra pillows, blankets, um, layers, eye pillows. Maybe even readjusting yourself to a completely different place. If that feels better, if you've got a recliner close by, or a couch, or a bed. And then settling yourself in and down in your own way. Take a full breath in, a big so in, all the way to the top. 
top of your breath. Hold for a beat and hum all the way out. Three more just like that. So, hold, hum, release. So, in your own rhythm, not mine, hold, hum as you release. One more. And then we let the breath go entirely, so no more control of the breath. The breath becomes soft and small as much as possible. You might notice that it's quite steady. You might notice that something else has come into your awareness about the breath. And however the breath has rebalanced itself here, notice the rhythm of your breath. Notice the sound of those breaths coming in and out. And if you'd like to, can continue with the so hum mantra or not your choice if it helps you focus away from the bombardment of thoughts if that's happening then feel free to use it You might notice how every hum can send you deeper into this relaxation, deeper into letting go as every breath passes. what it is that you'd like to let go of here. deepening with every moment that passes. Unwinding, letting go. Staying for as long as you like, deepening into this relaxation. And if you would like to finish up your practice, whenever you're ready, starting to take a deeper inhale, so a deeper inhale all the way in. Hum out through the mouth. Take a few breaths like that as you draw in a little more energy on those inhales and release whatever it is that you want to on those exhales. I'm starting to awaken your body in your own intuitive way 
taking movements, big, small, maybe staying exactly where you are if that's where you want to finish up your practice. There's no right, no wrong way, you don't need to be in a particular place. Just allow your inner guidance to show you what feels best for you in this moment. Notice if you're fighting against that with your mind. Make your way into where it is you would like to complete your yoga practice today and that might be exactly where you are. Bringing your hands into a gesture of closing today that suits you. And taking a big, beautiful breath in, so all the way in, hum on the exhale, chin down towards your chest. And just for the last few breaths, tune into that so hum of the breath. Thank yourself for your practice today, for your intention and attention. And from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you for being here. <laughs>